Hi, uh, welcome to another yoga class with me, Jo. Um, today, this is going to be more of an intermediate slash advanced yoga class. We're going to be doing a journey to crow pose. So crow pose is um, basically a lot of upper body work. So focusing on bicep, tricep muscles, your upper thoracic spine, your spine erecti, and also your abdominals as well. So um, it is quite advanced. It's not really good for anybody that suffers from any wrist conditions, or if you have painful wrists or carpal tunnel, something like that, it's not good for that. Um, any shoulder issues as well, this is probably not gonna be the best class to do. Um, and perhaps if you have had a hip replacement, um, it might not be so great for you either, just because we are hitching the knee quite high over the range where it would be suitable if you had had a hip replacement. So those are the cautions really for this class today. Um, other than that, <laughs> if you're fit, healthy and well, I'm sure this class will be a good challenge for you. Um, so let's get started. Um, you might need just a couple of props today. I've just got two cushions on standby or um, if you have a yoga block, that would be great or maybe if you have quite a thick book, because um, we're just gonna be using that for when we do crow pose. Um, but don't worry if you don't have those things, it doesn't really matter, but they're just there as an aid if you did need them. So when you're ready, we're going to start by being seated. So just gently crossing the legs and just taking the hands together in prayer at the heart center. So just beginning to close the eyes, and just tuning in with your breath. So a nice deep breath in through the nose and a nice long smooth exhale. So three more times, nice deep breath in and exhale. Twice more. And then when you're ready, as you breathe in, lift the arms above the head in prayer. And as you exhale, release the arms out. We'll do that one more time. Join the hands in prayer. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, release round and down. One more time, breath in, lift up tall. And exhale, release. And just keep the hands down beside you. Draw the fingertips behind you and just gently pull your shoulder blades together. So just feeling that squeeze in the back of the shoulders, opening out the front of your chest and just checking in really with your shoulders and see how they feel here. And then when you're ready, just release the arms back down beside you. Take your left hand towards your right knee right hand behind you and just begin to corkscrew your spine rotating it round to the right so we're just going to hold for a couple of breaths here when you're ready come back to center and then corkscrew round to the left so right hand onto the left knee and twisting round to the left hand side Holding again for a couple of breaths, just checking in with your spine. And then when you're ready, come back to center. Inhale, take the arms up, interlace your fingers and just bring your hands behind your head. Take a breath in again here. And as you exhale, twist your spine round to the right. Inhale back to center and exhale, twisting round to the left. Inhale to center, release your arms. Well done. So just give the shoulders a quick roll here and we're going to come over to all fours into cat stretch. So just taking your hands underneath your shoulders now, knees underneath your hips, starting with a breath in here. As you exhale, begin to round your spine through the vertebrae, squeeze out the breath, drop the head, 
and as you inhale, uncurling through the spine, gently lifting up chin and chest. So exhaling to round, inhaling to uncurl. Exhale to round, and inhaling to uncurl. So one more time, just closing your eyes, moving, combining breath and movement together. And then when you're ready, just come into tabletop spine now. So flat back, gently lift your belly. And we're going to just squeeze out the back of the shoulder blades. So when you're ready, take your left arm, inhale, lift the arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, thread the needle under. So left side of the face, left shoulder down. And just having a few moments here to really feel that stretch in the back of the shoulder. So holding for a few breaths. And then when you're ready, take a breath in, lift the arm all the way up exhale to come down right side inhale lift the right arm up exhale thread the needle this side so right shoulder down right side of the face and again just feeling that stretch in the back of the shoulder and using your breath here When you're ready, inhale, sweep your arm up and then gently bring it back down to the mat. So we're going to just bring the left foot forwards now. So left foot between your hands and again, just rotating the right shoulder. So coming into arm circles with the right arm, gently bring your pelvis forwards as you bring the arm up and exhale round and come down. So it's a full body movement. We're moving with the pelvis, moving with the shoulders, gently opening the front of the right hip and just following the arm with the head. Breathing in and exhale to come round and down. That's lovely. And then the next time you come forwards, just gently bring the hand behind the head and just drop your right hip forward and open out into a rotation. So you're opening the elbow, opening the top of the chest. And we're just gonna hold for a couple of breaths here. When you're ready, gently bring your pelvis back, release the hand from behind the head and just coming up onto your back knee. So if you do have any knee problems, you can pad your mat here or just use a blanket underneath your knee. We're going to interlace the fingers behind us, draw the shoulder blades back, place your left heel onto the center of the mat. Take a breath in and as you exhale, bring the body down into a long line lift up the shoulders so we've got double stretch occurring stretch in the hamstrings and the calves and also for the shoulder blades so really try and use your breath with this class just to help you get into the stretch a little more when you're ready just bring yourself back to upright release your hands bring your uh, left foot down, one hand either side of the left foot, tuck your back toes under into a lunge and step back to down face dog. So just either walking through the heels in dog or pressing your heels down towards the mat, just stretching out the back of the body, however is good for you today. bring your knees down and then repeating on the right side so bring your right foot forward between the hands and coming back to the arm circle on the left side so dropping the left front of the pelvis down and then circling the left arm so looking towards the hand with the head 
So you might feel tighter with your rotation, perhaps more one side than the other side. And that's fine, but just take note of that for your class today. So three more times, using that inhale on the way up, exhale on the way down. And then the next time we're going to drop the left hip forward, take the left hand behind the head and gently open out the left front of the body so you're opening out the elbow into that rotation on the left side. Holding for two breaths. When you're ready, bring the pelvis back and drop the hand. Rise up to balancing on the left knee. Interlace your fingers behind you. Squeeze your shoulder blades back. So right heel on the center of the mat, toes lifted. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, lower yourself down towards the leg. So again, just using your breath here, especially if it feels tight for your leg and perhaps your shoulders too. When you're ready, gently rising up to a tall spine, release the hands, either side of the right foot, tuck the left toes under into your lunge and step back to down face dog. So just holding dog now for two breaths. When you're ready, look forward, bring your knees down and come up to sitting on the back of your heels. So as you breathe in, rising up to the knees, lift the upper body, so almost a small back bend here. Exhale, release the arms down and round. Inhale, rising up, sweep the arms forward. Exhale, release down and round. So really opening up the top of your thoracic spine opening out into that lovely extension of the back breathing in exhale to release one more time breath in and then this time as you come to sitting on the heels interlace your fingers again gently behind your back so we're going to come into a slight inversion now so we're going to bring the forehead down roll onto the crown of your head and then lifting up, squeezing your shoulder blades behind you. So don't let the shoulder blades drop, keep lifting all the way up. So holding for a couple of breaths here, squeezing the shoulders together. When you're ready, drop the hands to the lower back and gently rolling all the way up and sitting back on the heels. So if you're finding that you're really tight in the shoulders today and interlacing the fingers is really difficult, you could actually use a yoga strap or a belt um, or perhaps even a dressing gown cord and you can do the same thing. So the beauty of having a video is you can pause now if you need to go and grab something and you can perhaps use that as you come into the pose to ease any shoulder tension if you need to. So from here, we're going to come into dolphin pose. So we're going to really prepare our upper body for crow balance. So we're going to take the forearms down and just holding the hands together. So this is your stable base. Dolphin is basically a lower version of dog. So begin to tuck your toes under and when you're ready, gently lift your hips up towards the ceiling. So you can keep the legs long, but keep pressing down through your elbows and lifting up from your shoulders. We're going to come from dolphin into low plank, so breath in. And as you exhale, just shimmy your toes back along the mat and bring yourself down to low plank here. Inhale, lift the hips up and back into dolphin. Exhale, over to low plank. So it's quite strong on the upper body, bicep and tricep. So exhale over, inhale to lift up. So really use your abdominals, draw the navel up towards you as you lift the hips up. 
keep lifting through the shoulders, pressing down with the elbows. Last time, we're gonna hold dolphin, walk the feet in towards you now. So the hips are up towards the ceiling, keep pressing down, strong with the elbows, strong with the shoulders. So if you feel stable here, we're going to try three leg dolphin. So breath in, and as you exhale, rise up with the right leg. You can just hold dolphin with both feet down if you prefer. When you're ready, bring the right foot down, and as you breathe in, bring the left leg up. So three leg dolphin here. When you're ready, bring the left foot down, bring your knees down, and oh, release your arms. So probably feel quite tight, <laughs> and it's very strong on the shoulders. It's a really good way to build your upper body strength up for arm balances like crow today. So just give the shoulders a roll. And then if you want to, just come down into child's pose, release the arms, and just take a few resting breaths here. lovely so when you're ready just gently taking weight into your hands lifting up and back with the hips and just walking the feet in towards you and gently uncurling the spine up to standing so we're going to just come into a couple of rounds of sun salutation b so again sun salutation b is quite a um it's quite a strong salutation and we come into chair pose as well. So we're gonna be using the quadriceps. So just coming up to the top of your mats now, so just make sure you've got enough space to move behind you. So just having the feet roughly hip width apart here to begin with. And we're just going to take the hands in prayer together at the heart center. And just begin by gently closing your eyes and just tuning in to your body. So when you're ready, opening your eyes and as you inhale, lift your arms up, palms face towards each other and drop your hips back as if you're gonna sit into a chair for chair pose. So just make sure the weight is in your heels. You should be able to lift your toes up. When you're ready, drop down, Uttanasana, fingertips and toes touching, lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Inhale, look forward, step back with the right leg into your lunge, step back left leg into high plank. So in this class we're going to use the Chaturanga to work the upper body a little bit harder. So we're going to bend the elbows behind us, lower us down to the mats, release the toes and lift up to up face dog. So pushing down through the palms, make sure the shoulders are away from your ears, squeeze into your glutes to protect your lower back, Keep the hips lifted. When you're ready, tuck the toes under, lift up and back into down face dog. Inhale, look forward, step up with the right foot. Step slightly in with the left foot and inhale, lift the arms up to warrior one. So bending the right knee, keeping that lunge in the lower body, upper body is open, so warrior one is a back bend. Two breaths here. When you're ready, bring the body over either side of the right foot. Step back to down face dog. Inhale, you can either step up or jump through. And as you take a breath in, just taking the hands up to the knees, flat back. Exhale, draw yourself in, drop the head. Inhale, lift the arms, sink the bottom back to chair. 
inhale rise up and exhaling hands together back to prayer lovely left side inhale lift the arms palms face each other drop back into chair so weight in the back of your heels inhale arms down exhale lift the hips up and back uttanasana inhale look forward step back with the left foot come into your lunge step back with the right foot body in a high plank so chaturanga bend the elbows lower the body down to the mat release the toes lift into up face dog breath in exhale tuck the toes lift the hips up and back down face dog inhale look forward step up with the left foot step in with the right foot inhale up to warrior one left side so palms face each other bending the left knee holding for two breaths here when you're ready bring the hands down either side of the left foot step back to down face dog and you can either inhale and jump through or you can step up with the left foot and step up with the right foot inhale hands to knees flat back and exhale draw yourself in inhale lift chair so bottom back and down inhale up exhale hands together in prayer so just take a moment to close the eyes catch the breath and so we're just going to add in a few additional movements into sun salutation b next when you're ready opening the eyes and as we inhale lift the arms up bring the bottom back so making sure the thighs are working hard here when you're ready drop the hands coming into uttanasana inhale look forward step back with the right foot step back with the left foot body in a high plank chaturanga bend the elbows behind drop down lift up to up face dog tuck the toes under lift the hips up and back to down face dog when you're ready take a breath in look forward step up with the right foot coming back to warrior one now so as you breathe in lift the arms up sinking into the forward lunge when you're ready turn your left toes out and bring your right foot to the center of your left foot coming into warrior two so again bending the right knee looking over towards your right middle finger when you're ready straightening the right leg coming over to the right right hand in front of the right calf lifting up with the left arm so imagining you're being pulled up the body so you don't sink down into triangle pose when you're ready bend the right knee take the left hand to the outside edge of the right knee tuck your back toes in to face forwards and when you're ready twisting the upper body opening out with the right arm so reverse angle pose now so keeping the breathing going that's lovely and taking the right hand either side of the right leg we're going to take weight in towards the right foot so keep the fingertips on the floor to begin with you can stay in crane or you can take the hands together in prayer and lift up into warrior three so warrior three is a strong balance when you're ready drop the hands either side of the right foot and then stepping back into down face dog so inhaling you can either jump forwards or step up one foot at a time right foot then left inhale hands to knees flat back exhale draw yourself in 
Inhale, lift to chair, bottom down. Weight in towards the heels and the thighs. Lifting up, exhale, hands in prayer. Back to the heart. So quite a tough round <laughs> of sun salutation B. I'm working up a really good sweat here. So I hope you are too. So when we're ready, we'll come into the left side. Inhale, lift the arms, coming back into chair. Drop the hands down, lifting up and back with the hips. Inhale, look forward, step back left foot. Step back right foot. Body in a high plank, chaturanga, elbows down, release the toes, lift up to up face dog. Breath in, exhale, tuck the toes under, lift up, down face dog. Inhale, look forward, step up with the left foot. Step in with the back foot. So inhaling, lift up, warrior one. Two breaths. When you're ready, opening out with the right foot, centering the left foot and coming into warrior two this side. So looking over towards your left middle finger, two breaths here. When you're ready, straightening your left leg, slide the body over to the left for Trikonasana. Left hand comes to left calf or knee, but lift up with the right hand so you're not sinking down. The obliques are working here to keep you supported. Keep breathing. When you're ready, bend the left knee, right hand to the outside edge of the knee, and then we're going to twist our body to the left, open the left arm up. Two breaths in reverse angle. When you're ready, just gently bringing the left hand down, taking weight in towards your left foot. You can either take the fingertips down and hold crow, or you can take the hands together in prayer, rise up warrior three. So squaring the hips for warrior three. When you're ready, hands either side of your left foot, step back, down face dog. Inhale, look forwards, either jump through or step up, left foot, then right foot. Inhale, hands to knees, flat back and exhale, draw yourself in. Inhale, lift the arms back to chair. Exhale, rise up. Hands come together in prayer, back to the heart center. So just gently close your eyes, catching your breath, seeing how your body feels, and just seeing if you can feel that invigoration of energy running around the body. And then when you're ready, opening the arms and opening your eyes. So well done. Uh, so that's quite a hard round, challenging round of sun salutations. So well done if you managed to keep up with that. So you might need your props now. We're going to come into um, crane balance now. So I've just got a couple of cushions to demo sort of a beginner's version of crow and also the full version of crow. So if you've got two cushions, that would be lovely. If you have a yoga block, you could use two yoga blocks or one, or two thick books stacked on top of each other. So pro balance is a balance to begin with. And we're going to be taking weight from the knees into just above the back of the elbow. So you might feel like it's quite painful if you've never tried pro before. Um, sometimes you get bruises <laughs> because we're often taking our whole body weight 
into just the top of the elbow. So that's why it's really important to build up strength in the upper body and the arms, like we've been doing, just to get to that level of balance with Crow. So, we're going to take the hands down first. So you could, obviously if you want to, you could just watch the first version, um, or you can go along and see what you think, but sometimes it's often good to watch um, a demonstration first, and then try for yourself especially if you've never done it. So hands in front, fingers well spread. So remember, again, it's lots of wrist as well. So obviously at the beginning, we cautioned any wrist issues, so hopefully your wrists are okay. You're perched on top of your little stack like a bird. So your heels are together and the toes are down and we're going to lift the upper, the back of the body onto the top of the elbows. So keep the head facing forward and then when you're ready, take one foot off and then the other. So that's crow. So it's good to sometimes have a little bit of lift from the back. Um, so see what you think. If you try with your prop at home and see if that's helpful, don't worry if you fall over. <laughs> That can happen as well. Um, another tip for beginner's crow is to take the props away and just practice balancing the weight. So bringing your hands down and then taking the knees into the back of the elbows but not lifting off. So just coming into here, keeping the toes down, keep the head lifted so you get an idea of the weight that you're lifting into the balance. So hands down, knees up, and then just bring the body weight forward. And you can try lifting off one foot and then the other and gently coming down. So just having a play with it really, see what's suitable for you. Um, the best tip for Crow really is to keep your eye line forward. Often in yoga, if we look down in a balance, we fall down. So try and keep the eye line looking forward because if your head is down, you're just gonna go down. <laughs> and that's where the falling happens. So if, you're, if you've had a couple of goes with the practices, either taking the weight in or having the feet propped up, we can try full crow together now. So hands down, fingers well spread as your base and then lifting up your bottom take weight in towards the elbows with your knees find that balance point for you keep looking forward and lifting the toes up so some days you might be able to hold for longer than others I think my limit's about five seconds. It's quite a strong pose. So well done. And then once you've come out of crow, just gently bring yourself down to the mat and just release any tension that's built up inside your wrists. So just rotating them one way and then just bringing the wrists back. So fingertips pointing towards your knees and just gently bringing weight back so you get a nice stretch out the other way. That's lovely. So hopefully you've had a little go at Crow in whichever capacity, either with the props, just practicing taking weight or seeing if you can do the full version. But it's a tough balance to master and don't worry if you don't get it straight away. I think it took me about six months to build up the strength um, to actually complete Crow. Um, that's why it's quite often a journey. So if you keep doing this type of practice with the Chaturanga and working the upper body, I'm sure that the strength will come. So we're just going to come into some relaxation now. So when you're ready, just help yourself to lying down and just hugging the knees in over the chest and gently rocking from side to side. A 
and then when you're ready, take the feet down onto your mat, feet together, knees together, and just coming into a gentle twist now, side to side, through your body. So head turning the opposite way to the knees, just cooling the body down. And then when you're ready, bring your knees up and just walking your feet to the outside edges of your mat, just coming into windscreen wipers now. So one knee down to the center and one knee out. That's lovely. And then when you're ready, just hugging your knees in again and just lifting up the feet as if they're going to come up towards the ceiling, keeping the knees bent, holding the outside edges of your ankles and just coming into happy baby pose. So rocking the spine gently side to side. And then when you're ready, bring the knees back in. And if you want to, coming back to a rock again over the chest. and then gently either bringing the feet down on top of your mat and staying in Shavasana with the feet on the floor or just coming down to full lying Shavasana. So just making sure the arms are a little a bit part away from you, feet are a little bit away from you. And just coming back to your breath. So a nice deep breath in and a nice, long, smooth exhale. So four more times, just focus on the fullness of the breath as we breathe in and exhaling, sending that breath away. So three more to go. then just allowing your breath to return to normal and just listening to any sounds that are around you and just acknowledging them, allowing them to pass and just having a couple of moments in complete rest. So when you're ready, just taking a breath in, just having a nice stretch through the body, lift the arms up and back, stretch out your shoulders, out your legs, and just wiggle your fingers and your toes. And then gently bringing the feet up and just rolling over to your right side now and gently coming up to seated. So we'll just take the hands together in prayer 
and then when we're ready, take a breath in, lift the arms up, exhale, round and down. Namaste. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope that was a challenging practice for you. And I hope you enjo enjoyed your journey to Crow today. Um, let us know how you got on.